Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be talking about Fuchs endothelial dystrophy, which is a age-related change that occurs in the cornea, which is a clear window of one's eye. And it can, in the worst case scenario, lead to swelling of the cornea, which may mean patients will require a corneal transplant. So if you want to learn more about this, then please stay tuned. Fuchs endothelial dystrophy is a age-related change primarily that can run in some families and what ultimately happens is you get wear and tear changes on the innermost layer of the cornea. So the cornea which is the front window of your eyes made up of five layers. If the innermost layer undergoes age-related wear and tear changes then the efficiency of the pump which helps to keep the cornea clear can start to underperform and as a result the cornea progressively can become cloudier and cloudier and as a result of that patients will experience poor and or reduce in vision and they may start also experiencing and seeing halos around lights for example. Depending on which literature source that you reach out to, the risks for this condition include age, smoking and also genetics as previously mentioned. If the corneal endothelium, which is the layer that's affected in Fuchs, is looked at closely under a microscope, what is seen is that the actual number of cells will be reduced, the size and shape of the cells will also be reduced, and as a result, as previously mentioned, the efficiency of the endothelium to work as a pump will be dramatically reduced. The vast majority of patients are diagnosed as having Fuchs endothelial dystrophy simply from being examined at the slit lamp. However, some patients will require imaging. A hallmark feature of patients that have Fuchs endothelial dystrophy is the fact that they present to their eye care practitioner complaining of blurred vision in the morning, which improves as the day goes on. Some patients can also report blur and discomfort in their eyes. Fuchs endothelial dystrophy is a condition that will affect both eyes. However, the degree to which one eye is affected at any given time can vary. As well as a comprehensive examination of your eyes, the thickness of the cornea will also be checked in clinic and this is done so that the actual thickness can be quantified from one visit to another because the more fluid that is present in the cornea the thicker the cornea will be and therefore similarly and conversely the less fluid the thinner the cornea will be. This can be helpful in trying to plan treatment and to monitor progress. After a diagnosis of Fuchs endothelial dystrophy has been made, patients can be counseled about the condition and how it gradually can progress. They can be started on drops to help with discomfort. They can also be started on salt water drops to help to clear the cornea from any fluid that may have built up. Other environmental and lifestyle factors can also be discussed with the patient whereby some patients find using a hair dryer beneficial to try and dry out the cornea. Some patients also find benefit therapeutically from a bandage contact lens, specifically if there have been issues such as um, bullae, which are fluid filled sacs which can burst. Patients with Fuchs will be monitored regularly and closely to check for changes and to judge whether medical treatments such as drops and lifestyle changes are being utilized effectively. If, however, patients are not responding to these treatment options, the ultimate treatment is a corneal transplant, which is usually a DSEC surgery, a DSEC surgical procedure, which strips the innermost layer of the cornea and replaces it with donor tissue. In the future, I will aim to make a video specifically about this. If you've liked this video, then please give it a thumbs up, please subscribe, please comment and please share. Also kindly do watch other videos on my channel. Until next time, thank you.